生まれるよ。僕たちの王が生まれるよ。遠い海でも生まれるね。二人の王がまた出会う日を、クジラたちも喜んでいる。あなたは何者なのジョイボーイ Let's start this One Piece theory in chapter 1014 with Kaido staring at Luffy as he falls into the ocean. He tells Luffy, So you couldn't be Joy Boy either. This is an important clue that Kaido could be waiting for Joy Boy or may have encountered a candidate to be Joy Boy before. This could also be the same reason why he wants to start the greatest war that will shake up the seas. Let's try to find out based on all available clues if Luffy is or will become Joy Boy. The Greatest War The Greatest War has been mentioned several times by characters including Kaido, Doflamingo, Odin, and Whitebeard. During Kaido's introduction from the Sky Island, he asked Joker to hurry up so they can start the Greatest War. However, Luffy defeated Doflamingo in Desrosa and was taken to Impel Down. Odin also asked Toki to jump 20 years to the future so she can find what she was searching for. And before Whitebeard died, he told Sengoku that the day that they are fearing is coming. In Chapter 801, while Doflamingo was chained aboard the marine ship, he asked Suru who will be taking the empty throne that Roger left, whether it will be the Celestial Dragon, the Marines, the Yonko, the Revolutionary Army, the Seven Warlords, the worst generation or the D clan. The Empty Throne. During the reverie in Marijoa, King Stelly stood in front of the empty throne to take his oath. The royal guard explained that there is no one who sits in the empty throne and the 20 weapons were placed as an oath of allegiance when the world government was established 800 years ago. This however was a false notion as the great Im, or Im-sama, is the one who sits in the throne and is served by the five great elders. Im-sama, or the great Imu, was asked by the five elders if he or she has decided upon the other light to be erased from history. There are four posters with photos of Vivi Nefotari, Shirahoshi, Luffy, and Blackbeard. Who was the prior light that was erased from the history? Could it be Rox D. Sebek? In chapter 908, Imu sits on the empty throne holding a poster of Vivi Nefotari. The five great elders, or the Gorosei, are the main figures seen to be controlling the world government before the introduction of Im-sama. They are higher than the navy, or marines, and higher than Kong, who is the commander-in-chief of the world government. As they were walking towards the throne room during the reverie in Marijoa, they discussed about the balance of the world cannot be maintained and a great cleansing must take place soon. Vivi Nefertari is the Princess of Alabasta and daughter of King Cobra. She is an honorary member of the Straw Hats but chose not to join them after they defeated Crocodile. She met Princess Shirohoshi of the Fishman Island and Rebecca of Dressrosa during the reverie, but was later on abducted or has gone missing as reported by Garp. The Nefertari family belongs to the original 20 kingdoms who swore allegiance to the world government and the Garasei calls them traitors for remaining in the lower realm. Does the Garasei know about the existence of the Poneglyph in Alabasta? King Cobra tells Robin that the duty of the Alabastan king is to protect the Poneglyph. How can the kingdom of Alabasta, who are part of the 20 kingdoms, be the protector of the Poneglyph? In episode 277, Professor Clover spoke with the Garasei through the Denden Mushi. He told them the reason why they were researching about the Poneglyph is to uncover the true history of the Hundred Year Void. He told them that they do not care about the ancient weapons, but more importantly why the world government was established 
800 years ago after the 100-year void and the extermination of the kingdom and its people. Before he was able to tell the name of the kingdom, he was shot and killed. The ancient weapons was discussed in detail by King Neptune with Robin on Fishman Island. The Poneglyph in Skypiea pointed to the ancient weapon Poseidon, which King Neptune described as the reincarnation of the mermaid princess. Meanwhile, Pluton was mentioned in a Poneglyph found in Alabasta guarded by King Cobra. The last ancient weapon, Uranus, has not yet been found, but it could be possible that it is contained in Big Mom or Kaido's Poneglyphs. Who is Joy Boy? Joy Boy was introduced in the Poneglyph Robin found in the Forest of the Sea. After Fishman Island was saved from Hody Jones and the threat of Noah crushing the kingdom, Nico Robin asked King Neptune who Joy Boy is. The king explained that Joy Boy was a person who lived on the surface more than 800 years ago, and the Poneglyph was his apology for not keeping his promise to the mermaid princess. In episode 969, the Sea Kings talked about their sovereign to be born in 10 years and will need 15 years to grow. They also talked about the other sovereign, most likely Joy Boy, to be born in a distant sea. After reaching Laughdale, Roger remembered the voice and said that they came too early. Someone will find the One Piece and surpass them and jokingly said to Rayleigh that it will be his son. After Luffy defeated Hody Jones, Princess Shirahoshi stopped him from further destroying Noah, saying that the Sea Kings are now pulling it. That was the first time Shirahoshi used her power to command the Sea Kings. They were happy to finally meet their queen and told Shirahoshi that they have been waiting for a very long time for their sovereign to be born. Then, as the Straw Hats leave Fishman Island, they were met by a pod of whales. Remember the prophecy of the Sea Kings? The whales are delighted in anticipation of the day the two sovereigns shall meet again. The Nova that the Sea Kings are bound to pull is also called the Ark of Prophecy, and that it must never be moved until a certain day arrives. Then, as the Sea Kings pulled away the Nova towards the forest of the sea, they were asking how can Luffy hear them, and remember about Gold Roger hearing them too. Also, they mentioned about the people who will fix the Nova. Gould Roger's ship R. Jackson was built by Tom who is also a fishman. Apparently, he was in possession of the blueprints of Pluton. Upon seeing the blueprints, Frankie asked if any human can make such a thing. In Water 7, Frankie built the Straw Hat Pirate's ship San Diego from the Tree of Adam, which was also the same wood used in R. Jackson. Its counterpart Eve has its root connected to Fishman Island. Why does Fishman Island possess two of the three ancient weapons? Is Frankie pertaining to Noah when he asks, how can a human make such a thing? There are two prominent figures in One Piece who seems to have an ability to foresee the future. The first is Madame Charlie, and the second is Higura Shikorazumi. At an early age, Charlie was able to predict the marriage of King Neptune and Otohime, and the birth of the mermaid princess Poseidon. When Luffy arrived in Fishman Island, she saw a devastating future that the Fishman Island will be destroyed by Luffy. However, Luffy saved Fishman Island from Hody Jones and the threat of Noah. Because of this, Charlie destroyed her crystal ball, saying she doesn't wish to see any terrifying future, but the premonition she saw may happen anytime in the future. The second person who has the ability to foresee the future is Higurashi Kurozumi. Oddly enough, Higurashi was seen to be imitating a young Shiki, which could possibly point out that she may have traveled with Kaido as parts of Rock's crew. At that time, Kaido was an apprentice of Rock's. Kaido's backstory has not yet been revealed, but this could be the reason why he and Higurashi are in Wano at the same time. The D Clan In episode 703, Rocinante Don Quixote learned that Law was a D, and revealed that the D clan are the natural enemies of the gods or the celestial dragons. Corazon chose to tell the secret despite being a previous celestial dragon himself. However, Corazon did not tell Law that he and Don Flamingo were celestial dragons. 
神の天敵神を仮に天竜人とするならばお前たちの目的はこの世界の破壊なのかもしれない Only during their fight between Dofi that Law learned about them being a celestial dragon. How can a celestial dragon help a member of the D Clan? And how can members of the D Clan serve under the world government and the Marines? Up to this date, Law is still trying to search for the history of the D Clan. There are six known members of the D Clans who are pirates, including Luffy, Blackbeard, Law, Ace, Rox Elizabeth. And Goldie Roger. Garp and Soul are Marines, while Dragon is a revolutionary. Ace's mother, Port Guest Lee Rouge, was not a pirate but is affiliated with both Roger and Garp. According to Whitebeard, the will of D is passed on by members of the D Clan to arise and challenge the world. Here are the members of the D Clan that are now dead. Gould D. Roger. The will was passed to Ace, Luffy, and Dragon. Portgast D. Rouge will was passed on to Ace. Portgast D. Ace was passed on to Luffy. Rox D. Sebek. Unknown. Jaguar D. Sol. Possibly Nico Robin. Whether Nico Robin is part of the D Clan is still questionable. But there are hints that she might be part of the D Clan, as her father is still a mystery. One possibility is that Nico Robin is Goldie Roger's daughter. Her mother Olvia left Robin when she was two years old in Ohara, and Jaguar D Soul and Olvia were seen smiling during their death, as they tell Robin to escape. Robin is currently 30 years old. Odin and Roger met 26 years from the current timeline, and in chapter 968. Roger tells Rayleigh that his son will surpass him, and the latter replied, "You don't have one." And in chapter 966, Roger carries young Hiori Kazuki, telling Rayleigh that he hasn't spent time with a baby in ages. With Rayleigh replying that it reminds him of old ages. In episode 958, Sengoku tells the Marines Big Mom and Kaido belong to the Rocks crew, headed by Rocks D. Sebek. During the God Valley incident. A pirate alliance between Goldie Roger and Monkey D Garp fought against the crew. Who inherited the will of Rocks D Sebek? In the Battle of God Valley, three D Clan members fought, including Monkey D Garp, Goldie Roger vs. Rocks D Sebek. Members of Rocks' crew were Whitebeard, Big Mom, and Kaido. There were no evidence that Rocks died, as Sengoku explained that the island disappeared. But if he really did die, Then his will of D should have been passed on, and to whom? There could be a possibility that Im could have chosen to erase Rocks D Sebek from history, as the proof of his existence were eradicated. But it could also be that he is locked up alive somewhere, either by Kaido or the world government. Is Kaido looking for Joy Boy? Kaido's history has not yet been revealed, apart from being an apprentice of the Rocks crew. But there are two possibilities. First, Kaido was sent from the past to look for Joy Boy. Second, it may also be possible that he inherited the will from Rock D. Sebek to start the Greatest War and look for Joy Boy. When he fought Luffy, he was saying multiple times about Luffy's smile and glare. That's it, Straw Hat. The light never leaves your eyes, does it? Whoa, 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 whoa! Just look at Straw Hat's face. He did that before too. Even while unconscious, he still stares me down. Luffy's promise to Princess Shirohoshi. Before the Straw Hats left Fishman Island, Princess Shirohoshi asked Luffy if he can take her to stroll in a real forest. Luffy promised to Princess Shirohoshi that he will take her to a trip. With Brook subtly emphasizing that promises are meant to be kept until death, this also signifies why the promise of Joy Boy has lived throughout the ages for 800 years, and why the Mermaid Princess Poseidon 
is reincarnated every few hundred years, hoping that the promise will someday be fulfilled. Joy Boy and Wano When Roger and Odin reached Laughdale, they found out the true history of the world. Roger wished that he had also lived at the same era as Joy Boy. More than 800 years ago, the Kozuki were stonemason who carved out the history in podiglyphs to protect the history of the world. As Odin returns to Wano, he comments that the reason why the Kozuki clan closed off its borders was to protect itself from external forces, and Wano must open its borders before Joy Boy returns. Before he died, he ordered his retainers to open Wano's borders for the arrival of the figure. Momonosuke could not be Joy Boy for three reasons. First is that he is already alive when Odin traveled with Roger, and the Sea Kings talked about the other sovereign to be born in a distant land. Second, Odin asked Toki to jump 20 years into the future so that she can find what she is looking for. Third, King Neptune told Robin that Joy Boy cannot control the Sea Kings and only Poseidon can do that. Meanwhile, Momonosuke is able to control Zunisha, just like how Poseidon can control the Sea Kings. Momonosuke may not be Joy Boy, but what could be his role in Joy Boy's story? I can only assume from here that Momonosuke may be the key to unlocking Joy Boy. Just like how Shirohoshi did not know that she is Poseidon, someone must be able to guide Joy Boy. The D Clan were unknown to Odin until the time they reached Laftail where Odin wrote on his journal that they finally found the answers to the D-Clan and the ancient weapons. According to Yamato, it is fate that allowed Momo to meet Luffy and bring to Wano. Is Joy Boy a title or a person? According to the Sea Kings, the mermaid princess Poseidon is born every few hundred centuries and that the other sovereign to be born on a distant land, and the two sovereigns will finally meet again. Joy Boy was not sent from the past just like Toki jumped to the future. He will be reborn. Here are my thoughts. Rox Dizabe could possibly be the other Joy Boy Kaido was referring to. If Rox Dizabe is dead, who would be Roger may have inherited Rox's will of D, which is why he ventured on the Grand Line to find the One Piece. Another possibility is that Kaido may have also been sent from the past to prepare the Great War. Meanwhile, Garp did not pursue the One Piece simply because that will be against the Celestial Dragons. It is also possible that Joy Boy's promise to the Mermaid Princess is to destroy the barriers and the walls that divide the seas so they can all live freely and Fishman Island stands below the Red Line. So what do you think? Is Luffy Joy Boy are going to become Joy Boy? I hope you like my theory. Let's look forward in finding more clues in the story of One Piece.